Notre Dame is number one. Notre Dame with a miracle win is a He's going again. Notre Dame has scored. I remember Frank Broyles, um, who was the uh, athletic director at Arkansas, uh, came into my office one time and he says, I, he said, I hear rumors that you're going to be looking for a coach. And I said, uh, well, those are the rumors, you know. I wouldn't confirm or deny either one of them. But he said, you know, the guy you ought to look at is Lou Holtz. He's, you know, he's our football coach, but I know that uh, he loves Notre Dame. And uh, he said maybe he would be a good person to look at. And ultimately, we did look at him, and we finally got him. But he came from Minnesota, actually. He left Arkansas to go to Minnesota, and from Minnesota, he came to Notre Dame. But I thought it was strange that uh, an athletic director would come up and, and recommend his own coach. When I went to the University of Minnesota, they were trying to force me to sign a contract, and I didn't want to do it if my whole family wasn't happy, and so we talked about it, and lo and behold, there was a lot of grumbling. I said, we're going to go into a separate room, and we're going to pray on it for a half hour. Half hour later, we came out, and the whole family was together. This is the right thing to do. Let's go to Minnesota. And I said, you know, I want to come to Minnesota, but I've got to have the Notre Dame clause in. And that is, if we accepted a bowl bid at Minnesota, we had to accept a bowl bid first. And if we accepted a bowl bid and Notre Dame contacted me, then I would be free to go, but only to Notre Dame. Well, nobody thought we'd turn that program around that quickly in my second year. So we accept the bowl bid. And I said to the athletic director, now, you know, if we accept this bowl bid, the Notre Dame clause goes into effect. He said, I understand that, but I think it's important for us. And so uh, about a week later, they contacted me and asked me if, uh, if I wanted to be the head coach, as I told Father Joyce. And he said, there are certain stipulations here, though. We don't take transfers, and we don't redshirt athletes. We don't have an athlete dorm. We don't have an athlete training table. We're going to play the most difficult schedule we can find. We expect to win. He said, the other thing that we don't change is not negotiable. Is we have a policy. The head coach cannot make more than the president. The president of Notre Dame is a priest that took the vow of poverty. And uh, so I said, that doesn't bother me. So he said, yes. He said, great. We'll have the press conference the following Monday after Miami. He called me back later that day and said there were too many people trying to guess who the coach would be or figuring out who he should be. Our team leaves for Miami on Wednesday morning. We're going to do the press conference tomorrow afternoon. I introduce to you Lou Holtz, the new football coach at the University of Notre Dame. Thank you. Thank you, Gina. First of all, uh, thank you. I'm uh, delighted to be here. I'm Proud to be named the 25th head football coach at the University of Notre Dame. Uh, we had just gotten destroyed by Miami, down in Miami. We flew back that night after that game in Miami, and uh, we almost had a crash landing, trying to land in the South Bend. There was a blizzard, and uh, that made a, made a miserable night worse. We ended up having to pull up right before we hit the runway and, and had to divert to Chicago. Uh, landed in Chicago and took buses home. Uh, got back to South Bend, I think, about six in the morning the next day. Uh, we had a meeting very shortly after he was announced as the head coach. And he came in to that meeting and, you know, we were still a little bit uh, hung over from the, the whole experience down in Miami, to say the least. And, and uh, he came in that meeting and a lot of us were kind of slouched back in our chairs, had hats on and kind of, you know, head back and just not overly impressed with what was going on. He got up to the podium and he looked at our class and he, or at our team and he said, get your feet on the floor, sit up straight, take your hats off and get ready to play some football. And we stood up and we, we sat up and we were like, whoa, what is this guy all about? We knew right away that it was a, a, a whole new deal we were going to be having to figure out. Get your feet down, sit up in your chair and get your hat off. And it, it was just, it was that. I mean, he demanded respect. And, uh, and we gave it to him. Uh, I'll tell you what, though, to be honest with you, just like a little kid sometimes craves discipline, I think we did too. And uh, we responded and got the message loud and clear. Oh!